We saw heavy rains here, right in our own neighborhood on Tuesday, and maybe you even had to drive in it. I'm Cadence McKenna, your neighborhood reporter in Lorena. I'm at Lorena Police Department to find out how our officers are keeping us safe on the roads when water levels rise. Um, what we've learned is there, the drainage there, it, it gets covered up with grass and debris and, and whatnot, and so it won't allow the water to flow, uh, leading to the backup and then the flooding. Many of our neighbors were impacted by flooding on I-35 southbound Tuesday morning. Police responded to a call from a neighbor in our community at 920 in the morning. When they arrived on the scene, all three lanes were underwater. They immediately reached out to TxDOT for help clearing the lanes. They helped traffic flow using the far left lane with the least severe flooding. As rain continued, the flooding only got worse. With the help of TxDOT and the fire department, they made the decision to close the road and divert traffic to the access road. That becomes problematic because now you have three lanes of travel that typically go along Interstate 35. Now they're all on one road running through town. The nine units that responded to the call scattered across town to help manage traffic flow. Police say the flooding has happened two or three times this year. I reached out to the Texas Department of Transportation to see what they're doing to fix the flooding issues. They responded in the following statement. TxDOT crews immediately mobilized, cleaning the grass and debris in the affected drain. Traffic was moving shortly after cleanup. TxDOT is exploring potential modifications to the existing drains. Police advise neighbors in our community to always be cautious of rising water. Uh, TxDOT, again, has been very responsive and we're, we're coordinating with them to find a long-term solution um, to the drainage in that area. Lorena police say I-35 southbound near Old Lorena was shut down from around 9.30 to 11 a.m. Texas Department of Transportation and Lorena first responders were on the scene to fix the issue. Your neighborhood reporter in Lorena, I'm Cadence McKenna.